Hello and welcome back to NRC Q&A. I'm Angelica with National Research Center and today I am with Jade Arocha, who is a survey research associate here. Hello. It's been a little while since we did a Q&A, huh Jade? Yes, it has. But we're excited to be back and we're excited to have you with us. Now we have a lot of questions from y'all who are our clients and those of you who are just interested in the land of survey research. So today is a jargon question. What does margin of error mean? Sure. So the reason that we talk about margin of error in survey research is because we are um, surveying a proportion of a community rather than everyone in that community. So if we were to survey every single resident in a community, we wouldn't need a margin of error. Um, however, that gets a little cost prohibitive to survey everybody in a community. So we uh, randomly select a sample of that population um, and then we survey them. So just to give an example, um, if we were to survey everybody in a community and 80% of those people rated their quality of life as excellent or good, then we don't need a margin of error because we know that everyone in the community thinks that. If we randomly select um, a proportion of that population and say 400 residents respond to the survey, that's going to give us a margin of error of about plus or minus 5%. Now what that means is that is a range around how you can interpret their rating. So for that same example, for 80% of residents who positively rate their quality of life, with a 5% margin of error, that means somewhere between 75% and 85% of those res residents actually rate that community that way. So it kind of sounds like this is a measurement of accuracy of mm -hmm. what those data are? That's correct. Um, and that's at the 95% confidence interval to get even more jargony. Oh no, confidence <laughs> interval. Now what's happening? <laughs> uh, but the margin of error is determined by how many responses we get. Um, so 300 responses is going to have a higher margin of error, uh, 500 responses is going to have a lower margin of error, and the lower the margin of error, the better. Okay, so this kind of also plays into why you want to have a strong response rate? Yes, exactly. Um, so our sample sizes are chosen based on where we are trying to get that margin of error to be and based on how many residents in your community that we think will respond to the survey. Okay, well that's really helpful. I feel like I understand it a little better and hopefully you do too. Thank you for joining us today, Jade. Sure. And thank you for watching. Come back next time, we'll answer another question.